Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me once again. You are always most welcome. Well today we've got an absolute mahoosive monster of a kit. As if we uh, we, we thought that the uh, the Sikorsky, uh, the Tahit, uh, Skycrane helicopters were big. Now they've actually put it from our friends at ICM have produced this kit in a set. So now you get it with the uh, the air crew, ground personnel, you get the helicopter and you get the matting which is actually um, the, uh, the t temporary matting that the Americans put down when they were in Vietnam to enable them to have these forward operating bases. Now this, this is just oof, quite an expensive kit now. We're getting up to the £160, £170 mark for this. I have seen it discounted cheaper than that, but I think the going rate's about £175 actually, in terms of retail price. So this is not a cheap kit. This is a lot of plastic in here, a big box. Let's take a closer look. So, it's kit 53056, and it's fairly heavy. Um, we've got, okay, on the side it really only has a, another version of the artwork really. Um, but let's let's give you a read of this. Um, I taught recently that they've really been good at ni nicely improving the write-ups on the side of the boxes to keep it a lot simpler now and give you the detail inside. So it says a scene of a helicopter in action as a bomb carrier from P P Pooh Bai Air Base got it right in 1968. Now I should just add, uh, it might, it might tell us more in here, but Pooh Bai Air Base was like the Ford the big forward operating base of the Americans for their choppers. It was also used, especially around this time I think, it was used as a um, an evacuation hospital, like an interim hospital um, for sort of stabilising wounded soldiers before they were transported back to the States. So that was another, it was a big base, you know. And it was only surrendered at the end of the Vietnam War when the Americans pulled out. Although they were attacked many times by the North Vietnamese Army um, and the Arvin, the South Vietnamese forces, they repelled attacks on a number of occasions. But yeah, it remained the sort of main American forward operating base. Anyway, it goes on to say it includes a CH 54A helicopter with its M121 mother of all bombs, which, as I've said before, is basically the front of a tall boy bomb from World War II. It includes the pilots, the technicians' figures, and the MAA1 airfield, airfield pavement slabs, which are kind of uh, basically preformed corrugated aluminium, basically. Or this steel? Or this steel? They might be steel. It says the decals are included, and, and then it says how many parts there are. There's going to be a lot of parts now, isn't there? So we've actually got 39 parts for the figures. 604 parts for the helicopter. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, 48 parts for the landing mat, 41 parts for four pilot figures, and 39 for the ground crew. Wow! So how many is that? That's about. We're knocking on the door at about 850 figures, aren't we? That's a lot of figures. A lot of parts, I should say. Goodness me. Well, I haven't opened it. It's brand new, just arrived from Ukraine. Now, what I will probably do with this, in fairness, we have in fact seen most of the elements of this. So I'll take a bit of a view. I'm not going to go through the entire helicopter because I've already done the re review of it. Um, I've done the review of it at least once. Uh, and I know there's other versions of this coming out. We've got one that's coming with a, a general purpose military, like a container unit, sort of operations pod, command pod. So that's coming out quite soon as well, this year. So. I don't want to get too bogged down and go through the whole kit because we have seen some of it before but let's just take it as we find it and uh, we'll have a little look and see what we think. I think it's, I'm quite looking forward to opening this because it's such a huge box, it's just crazy. Now bear with me because there is a lot of tape and I haven't pre-opened any of it. And this is all part of the anticipation and excitement I think. It's, going, it's cutting it fairly well this time, I've got a new blade that's why. <laughs> Oops, careful. There we go. I should just say as well, thank you to ICM for supplying this kit for review. And in addition to that, they've actually just written to me um, literally today as I speak to you. There we go. And they've written to me and said uh, how impressed they are with my reviews that I've been doing for them, which is really nice of them. Uh, and I'm very impressed with your kit, so it's a mutual admiration society. <laughs> now then, how are we going to get in? Now, if you remember, ah, oh, yeah, I've just remembered it's two, two boxes, isn't it? So. Only two, I thought it might even be three boxes. I'll put that out of the way because otherwise it's going to 
it's going to cause problems. So we've got two boxes that feel quite full this time, I've got to say. First box, okay. So the first box, I should have this right. First box contains our figures. Let me have a quick look at those. Then we've got our helicopter in there. So let's just, this is going to get out of hand very quickly, I can see. The second box is our. The second box. I must be missing. Ah, oh, right, now I'm going I'm missing something. Just me. So here we've got something we haven't seen before. So this is the matting. Now they've actually actually sent this out as a separate kit. So I've just realised we're not going to do that twice. So we'll only do the review once. So I will take a close look at this matting now. Um, because it is something we haven't seen before. And if any of you have got the um, the Huey, or uh, sorry, not the Huey, the Huey's uh, got the Black Hawk coming out with later this year. But if you've got the Cobra, then this matting is a perfect match for your Cobra. Uh, I know people like David have got a Cobra because I sent him one. I've got a Cobra as well. So there's a few of you got Cobras, I'm sure that's a very popular kit in 35th scale. So here we've got all of our. Gubbins, let's take that out. Let's put these over there. And we will... It's, it's hard to know what to show you because I say some of it you've seen before. I think we're going to concentrate on the matting element of it because that's the thing we've not seen before at all. So let's start with that. I can find my control. <laughs> Zoom you in a bit. So here we are. So this is the landing matting. Um, steel plates, basically. <coughs> Still aluminium, but I don't think they are because I don't think that'd be strong enough, would it? Does it give any history here about the matting itself? I don't think it does, but it may do separately. It may do separately. Um, um, looking at the. So basically, what we have here is a combination set of several kits. Basically, four kits in one. You've got two lots of figures and then the matting. Well, Okay, well it shows it quite, it's quite straightforward, look at this. So basically the matting interlocks exactly like the real thing. So they actually interlock together like sockets. Oh, look at this. Well, I'll get the plastic out in a second, I'll zoom in first. A bit. It's, 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 there's so much here, it's hard to know which order to do it in. So you can see that they interlock there, and then you interlock them, they interlock front to rear and sideways as well. And then of course you get your huge CH-54 helicopter and you, you plonk it on the mat and that's it basically or you've got your your Cobra which looks really cool on there so uh, those of you that have got Cobras I'd recommend you get some of this matting absolutely you make a really good diorama with some figures as well uh, you know Bob's your uncle absolutely brilliant so that's a nice addition it's something that you know the sort of thing that other, other manufacturers aren't really doing isn't it so what I'm going to do is start by having a look at this matting in the plastic. Let's yeah, see what we make of it. Something I've not seen before. Right, now then. Okay. Oh yes, oh, it's nice. It looks very straightforward actually. Uh, I don't think this is going to be very challenging to put together. So yeah, you've got this um, this sort of tongue and groove system and you can see when I flip it over in a second here's the tongs and when I flip it over you can see there's the grooves so yeah you just slot those together and then you've also got this um, again tongue and groove on the side you can see the little slots so you, you just build it up I mean I suppose you could buy a, a number of these couldn't you and uh, slot them all together to create quite a big area really but isn't that interesting, you know, something that uh, those that were in Vietnam, I'm sure, rem remember this stuff because it was everywhere. They were putting it down just on the, especially given the very wet ground that they had in that country a lot of the time. It's a very sort of tropical country with a lot of rainfall, so a firm landing area was often something very, very difficult to come by. And obviously by putting down this matting... It's, a, it's sort of an extension of the Marston matting idea, isn't it? But it's a bit more portable. So that is actually very, very good. And you've got different sizes of the sections as well. 
and that will make you a very nice, potentially a really nice diorama, I think. Get a few uh, of the figures, position them in the right way, and you're off to a bit of a winner. So that's a great start. So I'm going to put the matting away over there. Um, then we've got some uh, we've got some uh, <laughs> uh, decals that go, some of you have seen these, they're quite funny. Uh, we've got some graffiti style <laughs> graphics. Uh, and this is the for the uh, Sikorsky CH54 Skycrane. Exedrin Headache. Which Exedrin is a drug apparently, it's a headache drug like paracetamol. And then we've got the big, big mother over here. And you've got your lovely ICM decals and instrumentation there as well. Look. All looking very good. Um, I might just show you for those of you that haven't seen. I might just show you the uh, some or two of the figures. I say if I was to literally get the whole kit out, I think we'd be here for about oh, it'll be a ninety minutes across this one. I think. But we have seen it. I'll put a link in for the full review of the plane at the chopper I should say uh, and it, I have been through it in great detail already so this one I probably I'll not unbag that one uh, so we'll turn that over here so. so then we've got all these figures so I think we'll have a little bit one or two of the figures because they're quite interesting um, I will just remind you that uh, anyone that doubts that I'll show you this actually anybody that doubts that ICM don't do nice clear parts, because I know we had a one or two minor hiccups. Uh, I think it was on the cause I could it all got quickly resolved because my friends at ICM very quickly replaced the parts. But just look at these lovely, lovely clear parts that they do. I just thought to show you this. Bear in mind how big and complicated these are in terms of shaping. Haven't they done a royally nice job on this? Beautiful work. Really nice, you know, and they haven't done any stupid split screens like Airfix did with that seeking which was otherwise a really nice kit, but they did do a very strange choice there. And you've got some terribly tricky to create shapes here. You know, and there's a lot of curvature. You've got super bright, sharp looking plastic. Lovely clarity. Absolutely gorgeous, really. So I just thought I'd show you that. Pop that back safely in its bag. I'm getting any dust or damage. There we go. Um, also, some of you may remember the monumental bomb, the mother of all bombs. Here it is. Just look at that. Look at the size of that thing compared to my hand. It's just, it's just huge, huge. So that's a bit. And it has the parachute on the back. You might recall, big parachute at the rear, instead of having a tail like it did on the Dambusters. Uh, on the Lancasters, I should say, the tall boy. Uh, they just drop it with a parachute. <laughs> <coughs> the moulding is just exquisite, really. That's nice. There's a couple of parts we don't put in there yet. Uh, as I say, uh, there's no point in getting the entire kit out because we have seen it before. Um, then we've got basically, see me now, then we've basically got two sets. Um, of the figures, and uh, I will show you these again because I think these merit a second look. Um, so first of all, we've got the ground crew, which is the one I've got in my hand. Um, and I, I, I do, I know I wax lyrical about ICM, but I do like their figures. I think that the 35th scale, even the 48th scale figures, are really nice. I think they're up there with Tamiya. Um, it's not better. Uh, let's have a look there, so you can make your own mind up. Just look at the quality of the moulding here. So, do you check out these faces and things, the details. Here we go. There we are. Now look at that. So this guy has got, I believe, if my glasses don't lie to me, this guy's got a moustache. Got that? He's got a moustache. You've got this one here. Who 
don't think he's clean shaven. He's got he's got quite a, a noticeable parting in his hair. <laughs> Aren't they sharp? These are just they're out there. Look at the hand. Look at the sharpness of that hand. Yeah. That is really, really nice. And then you've got all this fantastic detail and another hand here. Hand with a screwdriver in it. And you can see all the muscles in their arms. And you've got all the fantastic detail on the trousers with the pockets and the... Uh, it's like the uh, multiple pouches are built into the pockets. The tools and things. Then we've got another figure over here, another face. My camera's locking onto it as it does. A chap here with a wrench in his hand. Another nicely figured hand. The figures and the fingers are really, really nicely done, aren't they? You've got this chap here pointing. And then we've got another face, back of the head there. Sorry about my slow focus, it does this in the frame. And yeah, some absolutely beautiful figures. I mean, look at the, uh, the sort of crouching, look at the way they've got the folds and the creasing of his shoe, things like that, and the tip of his shoe. It's actually not as obvious in that one as it is in one of the other figures you'll see in a second. Um, but you see he's sort of crouching down. And again you get the trousers with all the pleats in it and the pockets. Detail of the boots. Some great detail on those boots. Yeah, they're doing it, they're doing it well. They really are doing them well. <laughs> Beautiful figures those are. So, that's your ground crew. You see several of them have got tools and things, working on the chopper, getting it ready for this next operation. We'll pop that away and we'll then have a look at the pilots, in case you missed them, because these are such detailed things. They are definitely worth a look. So this is where ICM are very clever, they, 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 fairly soon after manufacturing a new kit they do think about how can we make this into a dry, diorama scene, how can we make it into a set, and the price is good. So this came out, this originally came out last year, £150 this kit, and yet you can now pick it up for almost that, um, with all these extras thrown in, so for not much more than the original price of the chopper, you know, they're offering sort of a lot of value really, because you can get all these figures, you've got two figure sets. So in terms of what the cost, it was about, about 18, 20 pounds, about 35 pounds plus the matting. You're actually getting 200 pounds with a kit here, and you can pick it up for around about 150 to 160. It's an absolute bargain, it really is. Anyway, chopper pilots, let me show you these, these uh, helmets that they've got, because these are rather impressive I think. They've got helmets and you can see they've actually got right at the bottom of the sprue there. This is the microphones, the helmet mic. And then you've got these, um, show it that way, it's probably the best way. And you've got these, uh, the helmets themselves. Some really nice detail there. So that's that one. Then we've got the, um, there's actually two of those sprues. And then we've got the actual pilots themselves. Here we go. Aren't they nice? Haven't they got a lot of nice detail? They've got a nice cap. They've got a side arm here in a holster. And then over on the other side you've got whoops, over on the other side you've got Another side arm, another cap, another face, another head. 
Again, beautiful detailed hands. Very, very good at this detail on the hands. They're really, you know, when you paint these up and put a little bit of um, highlighting on them, they're going to really pop and look fantastic. You've got all this uh, incredible detail with the trousers. And again, they've got lots of pleats and uh, pockets in them. Torso here. Over on this one, another torso. And then other end we've got cap. Again you see the arms, this guy's got bare arms. Details of the fingers, nice facial detail there, back of the head. Uh, again, fantastic. Just such animated hands, you know. And then here you've got a chap. I think this is the guy that's partially climbing into the chopper, which is why he's got his leg missing. It's just that he's twisting. You see, he's twisting as he boards the aircraft. And I think I think that's the leg, isn't it? He's actually got one leg on the ladder, I think, to, to get in. That's why it looks a little bit odd. Aren't they nice? And you know, even things like the little the caps. Some super detail on these caps. Fantastic. They're just a really, really nice set of figures. And uh, I would certainly recommend them to you. So that's the US uh, Chopper Pilots set. So you've got Chopper Pilot set, Ground Crew set, you have your um, <coughs> matting, and you have the chopper. So it's, it's quite a lot in this box. I'm actually surprised they got it all in, in truth, because it's quite a squeeze. I, don't, I just hope that I don't have uh, problems getting it back in myself. When I did this recent uh, World War II German staff car, the six-wheeler, I still haven't got that back in. I, it's like a Japanese box. I've never known a kit where it's almost like it's like a magic trick. There must be just one way to pack it successfully. I can't get it to go back in there. It just bulges and it's just not the same, you know. I mean, it was tight when I opened it, but I see I'm obviously knew what they were doing and packed it in a certain way. And I just can't recall how it was done. And I've had six attempts. <laughs> I've never known a kit like it. Over here you've got your... Um, these are the ground, uh, the ground crew guys I mentioned. Here you've got your instructions. I'm uh, not the biggest fan of the way they represent the instructions in terms of assembling these parts together when there's so many men. It'd be very easy to mix them up, I think, if you're not careful. So you need to pay very careful attention to the numbering. And then over on the... Yeah, there you can see what I was just talking about. Here's the chap who's boarding. That's why he's got his leg up, boarding the chopper. On the pilots. And they are very, very nice figures, you know. Excellent, in fact. So, I'm going to pop them into this box. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Have a drink of tea. Mm. Mm -hmm. As I say, hope you're not disappointed I didn't open the helicopter, but I will put the link so you can see the full detail review. I've done it before, and it would be very repetitive, I think, to go through it all again and all the instructions again. Um, I wanted to really get the, give you the impression of what this was like as a set rather than you know literally spend because I think if I went what I've already done here is probably about half an hour I guess and uh, if I was to add to that the full helicopter review you're going to be up at 90 minutes I think so that's going to be a bit too long a video. Fear not I will make sure that my review of the exact same chopper that's in this set will be beneath so you can have a good look at it we therefore have our... I can't get this back together now, here we go. <laughs> Hold on. Sometimes they're a little bit tricky when they have to go underneath like that. There we go. In fact, we can just make that the top, I think, is the wisest thing to do. And we will pop our beautiful box, the lovely artwork on it as well, the Pooh by Combat Base 1968. There we go. What an amazing, look at the size of this box, yikes. So that's, uh, as I say, it's 
a 200 pound kit and you get you can get that for around 150 pounds i've even seen it cheaper than that but 150 to 160 is the going rate which is a huge amount of value in that box you get if you like vietnam and you want something that's you know going to depict it really nicely um, there you go fill your boots and if you want to make a bigger scene all i recommend you do here's a here's a clue for those of you that have already got the cobra you can buy another set of this matting. I think it's only about 12 or 15 pounds to buy another another set. Bear with me a second, I'll just prove it. Oh, I say prove it. I should produce it. Look, here is the alternative uh, set of the matting on its own. Let me zoom in on this one. So this is kit number 53200. And um, if you buy this, I say it's only about 15 pounds. You can see on the side it shows a lot of cobras appropriately, as I mentioned. So in that, you've just got that bag of matting again. So what I'm really saying is for not a lot of money extra, you can buy one or two of these. You can have a cobra with it. You could have a huge diorama, Vietnam diorama of the Phu Bai Air Base. You know, with all these guys wandering around and getting in their cobras and things. I mean, for basically, if you've got a cobra already, for under £200, well under, about £170, I reckon you can get a complete huge diorama that will be jaw-droppingly good. A huge chopper on it, you know, I'd say two or three more of these and you can have a fill this table really, you know, fantastic. So there we go, so anyway, I've sort of brought that in because, again, I'm not going to review that separately, um, but I wanted to show that it's available now. It's come out at the same time, so you can pick that up for, for cheap as chips, as they say. And you can create this much greater extended set and bring in your Cobra. Uh, and I hope that gives some of you some sort of inspiration, a few ideas to to think how you can put your own creative mark on it, really, you know, uh, without going to a great expense. So, incredible value for money. Um, I'm going to give that, well, is there anything I didn't like about it? Um, not really, not really. Um, I think give it 10 out of 10. Be a slight, slight push, but I'm going to give it 9.75 out of 10 because it's bringing all these things together. And the value is so good. The value is what's giving it a bit more of a bit more of a extra point or two there. I think 9.75 is it's close to a 10, isn't it? For value for money, it's brilliant, you know. Um, so if Vietnam is your thing, you know, it's a no-brainer. There's nothing to think about. You need to go and get this one, really, and maybe get some extra matting. So they, came, they call it the M8A1 landing mat. It might have been better. One, one thing I would say to ICM, if they're just in a smaller print, if they just put the extras in there, then you'd realise what value you were getting. Um, because often manufacturers show this stuff and then you just get a helicopter. They're doing the opposite. They're literally including everything that's in that, in that picture, yeah? Um... Apart from maybe not the uh, the boxes, I don't think they're included. But I could be wrong. But basically, what you see is what you get. So yeah, maybe they should just put that there and say including the matting. Da, 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 da. So that is brilliant. So nine point seven five out of ten from me. Thank you very much to ICM. Really appreciate that one. Fantastic set. I hope you'll give me ten out of ten for the review. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It costs you nothing. You'll get to see a lot more interesting things like this very soon. We've got the ICM Marauder coming, and that's going to be something that everybody's waiting for. I'm waiting for it. I've got my my paint set. They've sent the paint set already in anticipation. We're waiting here for that one. <laughs> so that'll be coming through in the not very distant future at all. Uh, very, very soon. Um, and we have others, some very interesting items as well. Some Again, unusual subjects that they've come up with. So those are going to be on review very soon so make sure you join us and click on the notification bell and click the all option and you'll get early warning of any upcoming videos that's coming through very soon so thank you very much for watching i hope until the next time you stay well stay safe and until we all sit down together for another review or whatever thank you very much for your time i really appreciate you watching the shows don't forget to give us a like etc Thank you very much and I hope to see you very soon in the near future. Until then, thanks a lot. Bye for now.